one day I will look back on this and I'll laugh, but that day is not today. Hello, welcome. Right now I'm realizing I think I made a grave mistake because last night I got like just no sleep. Decker had a bad night of sleep, therefore I had a bad night of sleep. Like maybe three, somewhere around the three hour mark. Like it just was not a good night. And so seven o'clock rolled around, I was doing another feeding and Zach offered to take Decker and I could go back to sleep. It sounded great, but I got in bed and my brain is just spinning. I have a million things on my mind. I have a million things to do. Like if I have things on a to-do list, like I have to do it now, it's like just this awful flaw that I have. And so I decided not to go back to bed and I'm realizing like, the, the, the splitting headache is um, setting in, so maybe I should have, but it's okay. It is all good. I'm very, very excited because today I'm going to be going to a, well, first of all, I'm going to be leaving the house by myself with Decker for the first time ever. So I am nervous, actually. Like, it's not just excitement. We've also got some nerves present. Um, but I'm excited because I'm going to a Cincinnati postpartum mom's circle. I could talk more about later. And I just want this to be like a week in my life um, where I kind of just take you along with me. Like, I don't have really much planned. I'm trying to think. Oh, I do have something planned. I want to decorate for Christmas. That's on the list. I also have a fun unboxing with Vistaprint. And honestly, unboxing, I already did the unboxing. Like, I know, I know what I got. And it's so good. I'm so excited to show you guys. I am getting to work with them on this video. And if you still have Christmas shopping left to do, I have got you covered. Um, and I'm trying to think, what else? I mean, oh, the other big thing. My mom, who has been here for the past, I don't know, she's been here since two weeks before I gave birth to Decker. She is going to be leaving soon, like next week, to go back to New York for a few weeks, get things straightened out there. Obviously, you guys know they are selling their house. They signed the contracts and everything. It's not like sold, but it's basically sold. Um, but she's been such a big help. And so her not being here, it's going to be tough. It's like, the thing is like, I can do all of the Decker stuff, right? But when I try to bring YouTube and work into the mix, which I have tried to do, because my mom doesn't come every day, and the days she doesn't come and I try to do it all, it is incredibly difficult. It just is. I don't know if this is everyone's experience. I mean, obviously every baby is different. I can't just put Decker down. He does not nap. Yesterday, he had a 30 minute nap. My mom and I were looking at the monitor. Like I almost rejoiced, like that's unheard of. My mom said my brother was the same way. Like just, they don't sleep which is crazy. Like I always thought like, you know, you have a baby, you're with the baby, but then the baby sleeps a little bit and you get stuff done, but that's just not been the case at all. So like there is no, like, yes, every once in a while I'll get lucky, but like he is either drinking milk or crying <laughs> or wanting milk or he does play a little bit too. So like that's, uh, that's the situation. I'm curious, please comment below. Like, is this normal? <laughs> Do you want to know it's sad? This is considered dressing up for me these days <laughs> because the key here, are you ready for it? I'm wearing leggings and not sweatpants, but like, what am I gonna waltz around my house in jeans? Like that's that's crazy. Like if I'm at my house, I'm gonna be as comfy as can be. Meanwhile, Asher is still very crazy. And my hair has gotten so long. I know this isn't long for most people, but my hair has been so short. Can I just say the biggest regret, like what was I thinking when I randomly decided to chop my hair two years ago when we were in Florida, like that looked horrible looking back on it. I was just looking at old photos and I was like, what? So bad, so bad. So like, I will never go back there again. I feel like, oh my gosh, except Decker pulling my hair. Oh my gosh, I was warned and you are all right. He just latches on there. And like, it's as if, it's as if a grown man is pulling your hair. Like the, the grip is just as strong. Like it's insane, so. But my whole thing is like, I don't need to cut my hair. I'll just wear it up in a bun. Um, but yeah, I, it's, it's that time again where I'm going to be considering doing a cut. My mom sent me an inspiration photo the other day. She said, could look good of like a, cause I've always dabbled, like not dabbled, but I've thought like, oh my gosh, should I finally dye my hair and do a little bit of color? But I am scared. <laughs> I'm just scared. I know it grows back or whatever, but I don't know. Like it's just, I genuinely do believe my dark natural hair is probably what's always gonna look best on me. And me experimenting is literally just gonna be a waste of money and I will look worse. <laughs> Some very riveting news guys. I am back on my chocolate oatmeal grind. It is the weirdest thing. When I was pregnant, the thought of this did not sound good at all. 
and then all of a sudden pop the baby out read online that oatmeal can help or oats can help with your um breast milk supply or whatever so i was like all right let me like just try it again it's it, we're back like we never left it tastes amazing i did make a little bit of a change where obviously you saw i put the oats in just over half a cup like i do the half probably like three quarters of a cup half a cup just is not good for me these days i am so hungry with breastfeeding um so then i do the dark chocolate cocoa powder i do like I don't know, about that much, that's kind of a lot, but you know, we like our chocolate around here. Then the new addition, and I really think this makes all the difference, I add Dutch cocoa powder. Just a little bit of, uh, I was gonna say just a little bit of this stuff. Look at how much I'm about to add. It's not a little bit at all, but it really like, it, it kind of like mixes some flavors, I think. I don't know, it just makes me feel like I'm doing something right, I don't know. And for your sweetener, like you need something to sweeten everything up. You could do honey, you could do maple syrup, you could do all different things. I genuinely feel like, cause I've tried it all, the banana, like there's just nothing like the banana in it. And I just basically use, I don't know, about maybe like a quarter of a banana cut it all up put it in there add a bit of water i really just eyeball this and then i microwave it for like uh what is it 45 seconds and the key is you have to let it sit for at least 10 minutes okay while i am letting that settle i figured i can show you guys what i got from vistaprint which if you still have some holiday shopping you need to do i am telling you this is the most foolproof gift idea ever i'm not a good gift shopper at all like i don't it's just it's so hard for me it's just it's hard shopping for someone just because i feel like if someone wants something they're probably gonna buy it themselves what more does someone need but i'll tell you what they need custom items that show you care that show you love them and i am so excited i got some stuff for my mom my dad and then i'm going to be honest i fell so in love with something i got for them that i got it for myself too what can I say? And the best part, I am gonna have a discount code for you guys where you can get up to 50% off, which just means you can go a little bit crazy like I did. First off is mugs. I feel like this is just so foolproof because at least for me and most of my family members, like we don't have just like mug sets. I like mugs that are fun and custom. And that's the cool thing with Vistaprint. You can be as DIY as you want. Like they have plenty of templates where you literally just throw things on such as myself. I am not the most talented when it comes to that, or you can really get in there and make it your own. But they had, I believe it said like best grandpa ever. And I went in there and changed it to best granddad ever because that is what my dad is being called. It's like an Irish thing. And then on the other side, I put in a photo of my dad holding Decker for the first time, which is really sweet. For my mom, I decided to do a grandson's mug where I put up two photos, one of her first grandson, which is Asher. And then the other photo is of Decker. And I love that I could even get in there and make this like a pink um, coating on the inside. I also got my mom this uh, thermos, such good quality by the way. And it says granny since 2024. I also love this color. You can go in there and do like a million different colors though. I just liked how like sleek this looked. As you can see, I'm really taking advantage of the fact that my parents are new grandparents this year. And like, I just, I know they're gonna love this stuff. I also got my mom this. I thought this was so cool. They have like these like soup mugs and it says Kathy's mug. My mom loves soup and I thought this would be perfect. Then, and this is something I do for my parents every year. I have never, ever, ever had it turn out this good. It is a family calendar and I decided to do the grandson's edition. So I did 12 months of Asher and Decker, just compiling a bunch of photos of them. And I was so obsessed with the quality that I decided to get myself the same exact calendar. It's just, I can't explain it. It's like the way, it's like the, the way it feels. And also just the fact that the pictures came out so good, like so clear and crisp. And most of these are just taken on an iPhone. Like it's not like I have all of these professional photos. And I always feel like Christmas is the perfect time to get someone a calendar since obviously January 1st is right around the corner. And then the last thing, I just thought this was so cute. I got, this is for Zach. It is a koozie with Decker's face on it and it just says hi. It's just like a little, like it just goes to show not everything has to be like all heartwarming. Sometimes you gotta you gotta do the, the gag gift too. And then for myself, I decided to get holiday cards for the first time. It's something I've noticed a lot of my friends have been doing since they have started their families, whether they just got married and it's just them and a significant other or if they have kids now. And I grew up with Christmas cards. We would fill the whole fridge with them. And I really wanna continue that tradition. Not to mention like I wanna save these like every single year, save our family Christmas cards. I also got matching envelopes, which are like the cutest things ever. And I feel like just 
having them show up at people's doors. I'm very, very, very excited for that. So yeah, clearly Vistaprint is great for gifts, but also like for yourself, low key. So I'm gonna have a link below and you can use the code Clancy50 for up to 50% off wall calendars and holiday cards and you'll get free shipping as long as your order is $50 or more. And now it's time for breakfast. And this is what it looks like after it sets. You have to let it set. Do not make the rookie mistake of thinking it's just done. Like you have to let it sit at least at least five minutes, optimally 10. The realities of breastfeeding, I feel like if you look at your social media pages, at least if you're a mom, this has been my at least for you page, it's just all these moms who have literally like gallons of milk that they're pumping and we're about to leave for the group and he's probably gonna get hungry. And this is all I was able to pump right now, which is, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, that's just one ounce in there and it's just two ounces and that's not even a full feeding and I am stressed. <sighs> How much is this? Yep, two ounces on the dot. <sighs> and this is just the reality of breastfeeding. But hopefully, I don't know, we're just gonna try to make this work. And honestly, this is why I have not been leaving the house. I just feel like it's like more stress than it's worth. Like I'm just like, I just might as well stay home because I am like his source of food and I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna do it though. We got it, we're doing it, it's happening. Well, we were about to pull out of the house when he started freaking out. I'm currently giving him more of his bottle. One day I will look back on this and I'll laugh, but that day is not today because for my first big outing with Decker, me and Deck, I hit a car. A parked car, but still a car nonetheless. It's like, it's actually, I don't wanna say it's been a nightmare, it hasn't been a nightmare, it's fine, it's fine. It just hasn't been the best day ever. And it's like, all I will say is that this, all of this is so hard. It's so rewarding, but it's so hard. And I'm putting this in the vlog because if I'm feeling this and if I'm going through this, I'm not the only one. Yeah, we'll talk when I get home, but yeah. We are home after our big adventure. And honestly, today was a really good learning day for me. And that's all you can ask. I feel like I feel good. Like I don't, uh, that's a lie. I don't feel good, but I feel like today needed to happen. I was all stressed about getting out the door. Just, if you have a baby, you know, or at least a newborn, or at least, at least this is my story where, you know, it's just, it's just not the easiest to get out the door. And so I'm all stressed, oh my goodness. Get Decker in the car, he's crying, feeding him milk while he's in his car seat. As for the parked car situation, so when I was backing out on our little expedition journey, um, I hit into a car that was parked like I had to go, I can't explain it. I had to curve in order to not hit this car based on the way like the path was and I did not curve and I hit into it. So that was fun. We'll see what happens with that, whether or not we go through insurance. Obviously I let the person know I would never ever, ever do a hit and run. I had that happen to me a couple of years ago. I guess this was like six years ago at this point and it was just, Horrible. It just was horrible to like come to your car and it's, the, by the way, the damage wasn't like that crazy. So that was a wake up call. And then when I actually entered into the postpartum group, I was just so flustered, so high like anxiety and just everything that I feel like I wasn't even listening for like the first 25 minutes <laughs> to be honest. And it's so funny. I mean, everyone's baby is literally just sitting there so cute, just so still. I will say toward like the end, some babies did get a little fussy, but so still. Decker and I arrive and he's just like, I need milk right away. He didn't say it, obviously he doesn't talk yet, but I could just tell this man needs milk. I'm like fumbling around trying to get the bottle <laughs> immediately. <laughs> like I start giving Decker his bottle. All the, no baby ate, by the way, while we were there. No baby sought food, no. Decker of course needs his. I give him his bottle. He does this thing when he gets so happy to get milk, he throws both his arms up. Like, like let me. He's literally drinking his bottle just like this. Like, yes, milk. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. I literally love him so much. Like that would be my son. Um, but you know, the whole time I was there, Decker didn't cry. He didn't cry. And I'm so like, nervous about him crying that the whole time I'm just holding him so in like, almost like an awkward position. Cause I don't want to like disturb him and like, he wasn't, he didn't cry. Like he did, like, I am like me, I am like creating stress that doesn't need to be there. Like, yeah, I don't, but the whole, like if you asked me how it went, I would've been like, oh, he was just a ticking time bomb. Like we couldn't even relax. I couldn't relax. He was relaxed. He was totally fine. He was chilling. He was either drinking milk or sleeping. So yeah, good learning lesson. Like when I left, it's like, wow, 
I didn't need to be so stressed. I mean, it was my first, it was our first time. Like, so I don't want to be so hard on myself, but yeah. And I, I just need to make this, di not a disclaimer, but just, I know people, I know me being so open about all of these thoughts, everything is going to make a lot of people not happy. People, I don't know what it is about motherhood. People just get so <sighs> judgmental. Um, but I really, throughout my YouTube journey, throughout all of my vlogs and going forward, like I want to just push past that and ignore that because I think it's so important for people to be on here and for them to be real because I would kill for that as a mom. Like I, and that's why I joined this postpartum circle. Like I want, I don't want people to be painting this perfect picture, right? Um, and by the way, the first day was great. It was just us talking about our journeys to motherhood. Like, you know, how, how did it, how do we get here? And our birth stories. And so that was really nice. Motherhood is one of the most humbling experiences of my entire life for many reasons. One of which is that I'm pretty sure, 99.9% .9 sure, Decker and I have thrush, both of us, which is an infection that you get when breastfeeding. You can get, hopefully you don't, but I think we have it. Um, and you just pass it back and forth to each other. You gotta get treated for it. I am currently in so much pain. Like that is, so we have two symptoms. Me, it's like two, two pieces to the puzzle. Me, I'm in just so much pain. It feels like there are just like knives going in right now. Like I'm about to pop some Advil. And then the symptom with Decker is he has like a white coating on his tongue. He doesn't seem to be in pain as of now. And that's why I just called the pediatrician getting us in tomorrow morning because I really want to get on top of this. I'm not... <laughs> I'm already like, I'm already cementing my status as the crazy mom because I don't even, I didn't even tell you guys this. Like we were, we were at Cincinnati Children's on day three of his life because we were convinced he had jaundice, even though all of his tests had come back good at the hospital. His eyes were yellow and I made us go anyway. So I'm going to be one of those crazy moms, but like, I don't care. I'd rather go there and then say like, he doesn't have thrush. What are you talking about? That's milk residue on his tongue than, you know, the alternative of like him being in pain or anything like that and then so we have to treat him and then the next step will be to treat me because we will just continue passing it back to each other if we don't hello you may enter oh and by the way in case <laughs> in case you're wondering why it looks like my hair just got electrocuted i just blow dried it so i haven't styled it yet but this is oh my gosh i literally look like a i don't know motherhood motherhood does things to you that's all i'm gonna say but <laughs> like what why just got to the doctor a few minutes early, might I add, which I am so proud of because with a baby, it is not easy. Our last doctor appointment, we were one minute late. One minute late, if you know anything about me, like that's just not part of who I am. And I don't think having a baby is an excuse. Like I just realized like I need to make this all happen earlier, right? Like I need to start the routine earlier and I didn't realize that last time, so. We're back at it. I am, I'm not gonna lie, like I am pretty freaking tired right now because I have, we have this suspected thrush, which we will find out in a second. I'm not letting him directly breastfeed, I'm pumping. So I, and gosh, I give, I give everyone credit. Like obviously, I mean, this isn't obvious, but breastfeeding is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Like it is, it is just unbelievably hard. But last night I found, even if you, you know, if you're giving your kid formula and doing bottles, that is so hard in its own way because normally when he wakes up crying and wanting to eat, I put him on the boob right away. He's happy within like literally five seconds. Last night, and I think I made this mistake, I, he, well, he was crying just a little bit. I picked him up and then he got all excited thinking he was getting milk within five seconds. I had to bring him downstairs, warm up the bottle, do that whole thing. It was craziness. <laughs> in the household last night let us just say that it was it was not a good situation he um is not a patient man so that was um not good but yeah it just goes to show like no matter what your journey is it's hard in its own way don't let anyone tell you that like I don't know just don't let anyone tell you anything really I have so many thoughts on like motherhood and social media and like just what you see and just all of it so I'm gonna head in we're gonna find out if we do indeed have thrush can they name it something else this is the most disgusting name i have ever heard but whatever raise your hand if you have an absolutely crazy hypochondriac mom all i'm going to say is this coffee is highly needed right now because we have good news and bad news which i feel like is just always the case so I am back from the doctor. My mom is here helping out with Decker, just hanging out for a little bit. I don't even visit you anymore, it's only Decker. I know, and she was the one who encouraged me to go to the doctor 
So we're very happy it's not Thrush, obviously. But on another note, it's obviously not the best thing ever when it's like, okay, it's not Thrush, and then I'm just talking to his male pediatrician about the pain I'm feeling in my boobs, and he's like trying to help me, and I'm like, it's fine. I'm like, can you just please stop talking? Like, I'll find out with my female OB. Like, this is not a situation I would like to be a part of, so. I know, but like, if, if there's one thing anyone knows about me, I've discussed this at length. I don't like male doctors. What if he would have said, let me stay? Oh my, no, I literally thought of that, and I was like, they're like, and I'm also the type of person who like doesn't say no often, but that's a time like yeah. that would never, ever, ever happen. Yeah, and the whole thing is, I want Decker to have male doctors because I know how I, Neil always had the male doctor, I had the female, like, we felt comfortable. Well, I don't care about Decker's needs anymore. I think we need to switch to a female doctor for him if his stuff is going to be connected to me. But anyway, so yeah, it's, I mean, it's still a mystery. I have a couple of books I've been reading. This is a great book if you are currently pregnant. It just has like everything in it in like a very digestible way. I actually got this for Zach originally because I knew he wouldn't want to read. So it's like pictures and stuff. <laughs> I mean, that sounds bad, but like Zach just doesn't like reading, which is fine. And then this, my mom actually picked up for me. I have been loving. This was like my Bible. It's like what to expect when you're expecting. My Bible, I cannot recommend it enough because especially like, this is so helpful. I read it cover to cover because I was just interested in everything, but it has an index. So when I got COVID, I was able to go in and like, find COVID and like look up their recommendations. I'm not like far into this one, but yeah, I've just been looking up different things that could be wrong with me. Clogged ducts, the only thing that's weird is it's both mastitis, but I don't have a fever, so we'll see. Honestly, I'm just most happy that Decker is okay. In a moment of realness, this is what my living room looks like today and what it looks like pretty much every day. It's just, yeah. This is, this is uh, the new norm. In another moment of realness, I actually have cleaners coming tomorrow, which have been truly like just, it's just been such a help to have. And I'm about to remove all of the fall. And then hopefully after the cleaners come, we can put up Christmas, which I am way later to the game this year than last. But obviously I am just a little bit more <laughs> busy and preoccupied. Oh, before I get into the seasonal stuff though, I, I need to make this better. Like, uh, it's driving me insane. So here's the before. Okay, I feel like this is not very aesthetically pleasing at all, but it is life-changing because I moved Asher's treats and all from our pantry to here. And all I can say is having his treats in our pantry was a nightmare because every time we went in there, he'd get all excited. So this is good. It was also hard because it's like, I need to have the treats up, otherwise he'll break into it and get it. So Asher's treats, all of Zach's hats and all of that, which when I say all of his hats, like, this man literally, like, this isn't even scratching the surface, by the way, because most of his hats are upstairs. But the ones he keeps downstairs, and then my hats and my stuff, and it just feels good. Doesn't it feel so good, Ashy? <laughs> Whenever he doesn't know what to do, he's like, I'm just gonna sit. Next up, I wasn't gonna do it, but I have to do it. Our pantry has been driving me insane with how unorganized it is. Most of it, like, we had so much of his snacks here at Asher's, so that is giving me so much more space, and I'm just gonna, I'm about to go in on it. Like, we just, we have to. It's not perfect, but it feels so much better in here, so much more organized, just getting like some of the snacks together and breakfast items and all of like my baking stuff, which I'm so excited for baking season. I mean, if you know, you know, I baked all throughout my pregnancy, like literally three to five times a week. Like I just had to have a fresh baked thing every single day, but obviously like the winter is just the best time for baking. What you're witnessing right now is an absolute miracle. It's a lot later, it's 6.15 p.m. and we, are not nursing say it with me we are not nursing guys we go through this just marathon feeding session in the evenings and when i say evening some days it starts at 3 30 p.m until he goes to bed at 11. we that's another topic like we don't have a schedule yet he goes to bed when we go to bed and 11 is not the goal it's just like we start at like 9 30 and it just takes a while with like all of the steps and then he needs like a big feeding right before bed it's just, it's just this whole thing but Last night when I thought I had thrush, I was pumping, right? And I've always suspected this, like how can one be feeding for like six hours straight? Like I don't have that much milk, obviously. 
I, and, and, and I confirmed, I don't have that much milk. He is mostly comfort sucking. Yes, he's getting a little bit of milk, but it's certainly not nutritious. So I'm trying to like hold him off. Like it's not, I'm not trying to like starve my baby, okay? I feel like being a mom, I just know the comments I'm going to get, but it's fine. But no, I'm not starving him. I was trying not to start the whole process because like I, I'm going insane. Like sitting on a couch for six hours uh, straight is not great for the mental health, I'll be honest. So I decided to put him in this carrier who was screaming. I didn't know what to do and I got a pacifier and he's not a pacifier guy. I don't know what's happening. If just the universe is like Clancy, I'm gonna throw you a moan. He's not crying. We're not nursing and it's past 6 p.m. Like I am so happy. You just heard the air fryer go. Like I think I'm actually about to cook myself a meal. I have not been able to do this. I am like, I feel like a superhero. Like I can do anything and I don't want to jinx it because I feel like this isn't going to last much longer. But even if it only lasts like two more minutes, I'm just so happy I got this time. Also, I really haven't been doing the baby wearing thing because every time I try to put him in, he freaks. And then I saw this TikTok where this person said for their first baby, they didn't do it because their baby always freaked. And then she said, it's going to happen at first, but your baby wants to be there. Like it wants to be on you. It's like how it was when he was in the womb. And you just have to like get past the initial freak out. Cause like, it's, it's not the most, um, especially with this kind of like wrap, it's not the most, what's the word? Like elegant way to put them in. Like it's kind of a little like jarring. Um, and then once you get past the freak out, she said like, they love it. And I just need to get past the freak out. Clearly I already started eating, but I just whipped up a burger, which I started eating red meat during my pregnancy and I'm still loving it. So I'm just going with it. And I made some fries in the air fryer as well. Perfect timing. Zach actually just walked in the door. Actually, Zach opened the cabinet. Just how I left it. Do you notice anything? No, those are chips the whole I see. Also, can you believe the time right now and the fact that we're not nursing? That you're not nursing? Yeah, we're not nursing. Like I was telling the vlog about like his just insane nursing addiction in the evenings. Can no. you confirm or deny? I feel like people are gonna think I'm exaggerating. I mean, I feel like you're exaggerating Zag. as much right now, but. Zag. I'm, you're not exaggerating, the little guy. He must like his little. He likes being close <laughs> to me. It's like he's in the womb again. He looks peaceful. It's That's... also insane that he's napping. Like this guy doesn't nap. My mom said Neil was the same way. He just wouldn't nap. So anyway, he I'm just like party. telling you about everything. I'm like, this is what happened today. This is what happened today. No, I've never seen him just like in this little thing chilling. He looks funny. He's so happy. And like, I could do everything. Like I'm walking around and making noise. He's just like no, happy as nice. can be. What are your thoughts on my hypochondriac ways? <laughs> you look like a headless freak. <laughs> you guys just survived a big <laughs> infection. Whatever, infection that no one had. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I literally told Zach that. I'm like, look at him drinking. He's clearly. In pain. I was like, he's clearly in pain. You can just tell. Well, I mean, it, was was, it was milk residue. Yeah, I mean, I told you that we didn't need to go to the doctor. Okay, but I'm in pain. But like, but also, you know how embarrassing it is that I basically went to his male pediatrician for him to tell me I have clogged milk ducts <laughs> in my boobs. Like that's so weird. Yeah, I I could have told you that too. As a non-male pediatrician. Yeah, you could have told me clogged milk ducts. No, you couldn't. If your boobs hurt, yeah, what do you mean? It could be any, it could be thrush. <laughs> I, yeah, I, could, I knew for sure it wasn't that. No, you didn't. Did I say he didn't have it? That his tongue, <laughs> she said his tongue was white. It was the clearest tongue he's had in his entire life, actually, because it usually is disgusting and white because it's the milk. Oh, and my. she was looking at it and it was like clean no once. yes oh my god wait you put away your groceries did you did you follow the pattern <laughs> what please tell me you didn't just throw everything everywhere what do you mean throw everything there's there's categories <laughs> i don't dang <laughs> what did you do in the fridge no okay Good morning, guys. I'm actually going to the doctor today, the OB, to get checked for the first time since giving birth. But I decided to start a whole new vlog for that just because I feel like this one is the never ending stream of craziness. And I have a theory that if I put this visit in this vlog, something bad is going to happen <laughs> because I feel like that's been the trend with this vlog. Not that anything crazy bad happened, um, but obviously just. Um, 
some unideal situations happen this week. But all in all, honestly, guys, and I think that's why it's so important for me to put all of this stuff in is to show like you can be so grateful and love your baby so much and also just be so happy in general and also be so anxious and also have not so great things happen. And it's just life isn't always black and white, right? Like life is all of it. And that was my week this week. It wasn't maybe the best, but throughout it all, I mean, still like I have a happy, healthy son. So good saying son. Like for some reason, son feels different than baby, but I have a happy, healthy son slash baby. And like, what more could I ask for? And truly, even with the whole car situation, <laughs> which is not ideal. I mean, one of my first thoughts was, I mean, my first thought was like, this is, this is not good. But after that happened, I'm like, how grateful am I that like, we weren't in an accident with a moving car. Like, that would be a not good situation. So, yeah. Anyway, I am going to end this vlog here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will once again have that Vistaprint link below if you guys want to check out any of those products, make your own. And hopefully our next vlog is a little bit more upbeat than this one. But I love you guys. I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.